Hey coders and welcome to a brand new course on this channel. In this course we're going to be covering Flutter. Now Flutter is an amazing technology and it's relatively new. It was just released in 2017 and came out of beta in 2018 but already despite its young age has been growing in popularity and adoption rate not just amongst freelance developers but also large entrenched corporations. Now I've been using it for about a year or two now and I've grown to love it myself. I know it forwards and backwards and finally feel comfortable enough to teach on it. So again, if you're going to learn a new technology, Flutter is a safe bet for you. So in this first season, we're just going to give a overview and high level introduction to what Flutter is and what it can do for you. So first things first, I'm imagining that if you already, uh, or if you clicked on this video, you already know a little bit about Flutter, but, but let's just break it down a little bit further. So I've identified Flutter as two things. One, it's a software development kit or SDK, and number two, it's a framework. So what is an SDK or what does Flutter do? Well, Flutter is software that helps you build and compile beautiful cross-platform apps from a single code base. So if you can imagine, if you were trying to build a mobile application, right, without Flutter, you'd basically essentially have to create your app two times. You'd have to create it in Java for your Android users, and then you'd have to create it in Swift for your iOS or iPhone users. But Flutter actually allows you to, comp to build your app in one uh, programming language, which is Dart programming, uh, from a single code base and then compile that code again using flutter into machine code that is executable by ios and android users now since flutter has been released they've been enhancing their product a lot more and you can also do it now for websites and web applications so that means you can basically create an application for ios android and your web application from a single code base so number two, it's also a framework. Now, Flutter is a library of pre-built customizable widgets for quick and easy development. Now what that means is that what if, as you make more and more apps throughout your development career, you'll realize that you'll have a lot of widgets that you basically reuse in every single app. Now, Flutter has provided a lot of these pre-built widgets to you that you can basically just drag and drop into your code. Now they are customizable, thankfully, so that your all of your Flutter apps don't look the same. But uh, but this is a really huge help, and again, it just quickens up the process of developing and rolling out new updates. So again, I really want to emphasize this aspect because this is what makes Flutter so amazing. So again, you'll write your code in Dart from a single code base. And then you will use Flutter to compile that code base into machine code that can be run and executed on Android devices, iOS devices, web applications, and desktop applications. Now, I recently just made an app called Aero, which is a fintech app that allows users to automate their stock trading, and it was a huge success. Basically, whenever I needed to make an enhancement or a update, or say a bug that needs to be fixed, all I need to do is fix that bug or make that enhancement in one single code base, and then I'd compile it and publish that update through all of the different platforms that my application was available on. This made rollout a lot faster, uh, updates a lot faster, and it's really good, say, if you have a startup and you're, only, and you're very resource uh, limited, then Flutter will help you a lot and still having a widespread app, but you'll still be able to make changes a lot quicker. So I'm not alone in my love for Flutter. Again, Flutter is about four or five years old and it's been growing super fast. It's on hyperdrive basically right now. It's already ranking amongst some of the bigger players in the cross-platform app development sphere, uh, such as React Native. And it's just about as popular as that right now but I believe it's going to overtake it and continue uh, dominating this industry just because it, its adoption rate has been so uh, high in the last couple of years. So again, if you're going to learn something, Flutter is a really good bet. Before we end this video, I just want to lay out a couple prerequisites for this course. Number one, 
Flutter uses the Dart programming language. So I'm guessing if you haven't dabbled in Flutter yet, you probably don't know Dart programming. That's okay, I didn't either when I first started learning uh, Flutter. But Dart is an extremely easy, uh, in my opinion, a language to learn if you already have some object-oriented programming background. Uh, it's really easy to learn. Uh, it'll take you like a week, maybe, uh, maybe less than that. But if you don't know how to program or don't have object-oriented programming, then you'll need at least a willingness, uh, a willingness to learn it throughout this course. Number two is you'll need to install the Flutter SDK. It's for free. It's open source on the Flutter website, so that's a really big plus. Uh, number three, install Android Studio. So you don't. Android Studio is a code editor or a text editor. You 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 technically don't need to use Android Studio to develop Flutter apps. You can use uh, Windows Studio or Sublime or your favorite text editor. I'm going to be using Android Studio just because it's my favorite for developing Flutter apps. There's a lot of great plugins for Flutter, such as uh, such, such as uh, code completion and stuff like that, uh, that make just the whole development uh, experience a lot more enjoyable. And then finally, if you want to develop and simulate your apps on virtual iPhones on your laptop, then you'll need to install Xcode. You technically don't need this. Um, you can you can develop all of your apps on, on Android virtual devices, but if you have a Mac and you want to test it out on an iPhone device uh, or a, a simulated device, then you'll need to install Xcode. In fact, if you don't have a Mac, then this step just doesn't really concern you because you can only install Xcode if you have a Mac. Sorry, Windows users. All right, so before we end this video, let's just look at the official documentation uh, for all of these prerequisites. If you're wondering how to install Flutter on your laptop so that you can start building your Android and iPhone applications, there's some really clear and concise documentation listed on their website, flutter.dev slash docs slash get started slash install. First, you'll need to select your operating system. So again, I am on Mac, so I'm going to select Mac OS. And then they give you some very straightforward and clear instructions for how to say get the Flutter SDK, how to install Xcode, and how to uh, set up your Android and install Android Studio. Again, this is very uh, easy and straightforward instruction, so I don't think you're going to have too much uh, trouble with following these. But if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer them. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you in the very next episode.